Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for day 5 of the 30 days of clay. This month I'm going to be posting 30 different clay tutorials, clay products for you to take some inspiration from, just yeah get you crafting. So if you like that sort of thing, then definitely make sure to subscribe. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these. <laughs> Um, little ice lolly charms. They're kind of big for charms, but they could be perfect for keychains if you attach them to the top. I haven't attached anything yet because I haven't decided where I want to put them. I also have some new findings coming, which I think will be perfect. I'll be sharing a uh, like arts and crafts haul with you very soon once that all arrives. Um, but I think that will be perfect for these. So definitely stay tuned to see what kind of bits and bobs I have coming. Um, but yeah, I made these today and I'm very, very, very happy with them. I think they're so cute. I've given them all different faces. I absolutely love them. So if you want to see how I made them, then just keep on watching. So the first material that I used for this DIY was polymer clay. I just rolled it into a small ball like so, rolled it out a little bit into a slight snake shape, press it down onto a ceramic tile so it was nice and flat, flat on both sides. And then I took some scissors and just cut the bottom edge off. I then smoothed out that edge where I cut with the scissors so that it was nice and smooth. I just used a big dot and tool to begin with and then my fingers just to round out the edges. Once I was happy with that shape and it looked kind of like the top of a lolly, I ended up taking some craft wire, cutting off around about an inch and just placing that into the very bottom of the ice lolly. I then took another small kind of snake of polymer clay, flattened that down a little bit to make the stick, cut that again so I had a nice flat edge and I met the two flat edges of the pieces along that craft wire so that the craft wire was running through the stick of the lolly and also joining into the lolly itself. Before baking however I did go in and make some small fruit so I made a little triangle, a rounded one to make the strawberry, I made a flat circle cut it in half to make a slice of lime and then making another circle in the same size as the original lime shape without it being cut in half. I then put a little dot on top of that of clay and then put my dot and tool inside of that to hollow it out and I just kind of used a neat little tool to fluff that up a bit to make the top of a blueberry. I then baked all of those pieces in the oven at 110 degrees celsius. I think I put them in for 25 minutes including the little pieces. Um, they came out just fine and everything was baked through. I then painted the lollies so I painted them which colour as I wanted. I was obviously making a blueberry, a strawberry and a lime so I had a blue, a pink and a lime colour and I painted the sticks in a light brown. Once I was happy with that I then took some UV gel clay and then I just kind of squished that out between my fingers and just wrap that around the entirety of the coloured bit of the lolly. I then inserted an eye pin into the very top of that so I could use this as a keychain or decoration or whatever I wanted to use it for. Then I cured down that UV gel clay using a UV torch to begin with to keep the shape. Then I placed it underneath my UV lamp and then put it out into the sun for around about half an hour. Once um, that was kind of curing and everything like that outside, I moved on to painting the little bits of fruit. So I painted obviously the strawberry in this nice kind of off red with the green top, painted all of the details onto the lime and to the blueberry, etc. I matched them up with each of the lollies, stuck them on with super glue and then adding some extra bits of the UV gel clay. I just made it look like I had little hands holding onto the lollies. These were definitely inspired by some that I seen on Pinterest a while ago. I can't find the original pin, but I know I seen something like this on there. So yeah, just just um, full transparency there. I love Pinterest as a kind of like source of inspiration and these were definitely inspired by ones I saw on there. And yeah, very happy with them. So then I moved on and painted on faces that I like, that I like to use in my art. So I went for this little meh face. I did a smiley face on one of them and an open mouth face. Then I glazed all of the UV gel pieces and the little clay charm and the little kind of like clay, like, you know, stick. <laughs> Just basically the whole entire piece in UV resin in, place that underneath my UV lamp like I said after the torch and then outside again in the sun. Okay with the UV resin cured they're now all complete obviously so the blueberry one is the one I did first of all and I can tell the difference because like the clear coating of this one is like all bumpy and stuff down the sides and it has got a little tiny bit yellow because I left this out in the sun I forgot about it for four hours I definitely shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so it's a little bit kind of off colour, especially compared to the other two. I'm very happy with it though. I love the face. I just think, you know, for the first attempt, it's good, but you know, not, not perfect. Then I moved on and made the kind of strawberry one. I think this one here turned out much better than the blueberry one. Not so wibbly wobbly down the sides, but very nice, still the same, as you can see. Love the pink and the strawberry combo. But the third one that I did, 
this one here has turned out the best i think look at that i added a little bit extra like um of the clear gel on that and i think that's worked out really really well so i definitely recommend putting more on than say the blue one like i've got more around the sides do you see that the lollipops themselves are actually the same size um i don't know why they look different sizes but they are the same size inside but i've made sure to put clear around the edges <laughs> but i really really like this one it's much smoother down the sides as you can see especially compared to the first one that i did like this one has definitely bumpier um but overall yeah i'm very very happy with all three they're going to be kept in my collection i'm going to see how they go in the sun etc see how much they can actually take they might just be an indoor thing these ones like i might just have to put some ribbon on them hang them up on the wall and they'll work out perfectly but yeah very very happy with how these have turned out let me know which one was your favorite you know minus the little wibbly wobbly bit and the fact it turned a tiny bit yellow <laughs> um let me know which face is your favorite what flavor you would choose um but yeah thank you so so much for tuning in today and i will see you tomorrow for another video bye